Hello Scorpio, welcome to another 411 love reading. This is a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this will focus on those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. So we're going to get right into it for Scorpio Spirit. What messages do you have for Scorpio in love? We're going to be looking at your energies for each other, your feelings for each other, what's going on in your connection what you should know and the potential outcomes so we're going to get into a lot of information here the 411 really all right spirit for scorpio tell me what is going on in this connection this will not resonate with everyone watching so just keep that in mind you will know pretty soon if this is your reading don't try to make it fit if it's not Check out my other videos for Scorpio or the other placements in your birth chart if they're more prominent. What's going on in this con connection spirit for Scorpio? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. What else is going on in this connection? separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon i can never just get a simple reading <laughs> especially with the water signs uh soulmate yes this is your soulmate okay so this is somebody that you have a strong connection with um i feel like um this could go either way either you already know this person and have started you know had a connection with them in the past and already separated in in, in the past or as you were getting to know somebody, not even fully being able to have a connection, uh, there was some sort of dis uh, separation or disconnect. So let's see. Let's see what we can get for Scorpio, please. What's going on in this connection between Scorpio and this person? Okay, hold on. What's going on in this connection spirit? between Scorpio and this other person. Let me see if I can shuffle this. Oh, barely. <laughs> okay. That feels good. What's going on in this connection? What do we need to know about the mutual energies here, sir? For Scorpio. No, oh, okay. The Magician. Justice reverse. Wow, two major arcanas right off the bat. We have justice energy with Libra here. Some some sort of manifestation taking place. So one of you, because I say one of you, because this is mutual energy, so you're both here. One of you, I feel, is wanting to make something happen in this connection. Maybe restore balance. Um, I feel like at this time, things are not really balanced between you. Uh, you're not on the same page, or perhaps uh, something just feels unfair. Maybe the circumstances are unfair to you or to this person, and, it, and they're affecting this connection. What else is happening here? Okay, we got the Seven of Pentacles coming out with the Six of Swords reversed. Six of Swords reversed, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this is something to do with time. Well, every time I get the Seven of Pentacles, I think of time. I think of effort put in, time put in to something, um, some sort of investment here that takes time and effort and energy. And someone's worrying with the Seven of Pentacles, someone's worrying if something will grow, something will happen here. So it's almost like someone's manifesting but is unsure of whether that's going to be successful. These two cards are very similar. The hands, the hands are very similar, we can see. The magician doesn't really have anything in front of them, but the Seven of Pentacles, this figure does. They're growing a plant. So I feel like this is someone, the same person that's manifesting is wondering if this is going to play out in their favor or, you know, if this is going to work out at all. And the Six of Swords reverse here, this is someone that's either uh, delayed or blocked from leaving a situation or wants to return. So we'll have to clarify and see. Let me clarify. I don't know what is going on with this deck. For some reason, I'm not able to really... Okay, here we go. Did 
Tell me about the magician. What's the magician about? Page of Wands reversed. Yeah, something was not able to get really started here. For the Scorpios that I'm talking to, you and this person, um, something didn't really take off. Almost like it was over before it began. And so there's someone here still trying to manifest something growing here. Knight of Wands reversed, what? It could be that um, you're not on the same page because one of you wants to have commitment here and the other one doesn't, or one of you can commit and the other one cannot. And this could have already happened in the past. Tell me about the magician. Three of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's this is about timing. Someone's waiting. It's like you've been waiting for this person or this person has been waiting for you, Scorpio. Even though something never really took off or isn't able to get off the ground, even if something is unfair, even if there's doubt about it growing or going anywhere, someone's still kind of waiting with like an expectation of something happening here. What's at the bottom? Four of Wands, wow. Celebration. This is domestic bliss, harmony in the home. Peace in the home. Someone's manifesting something, wanting something to happen, and they've been pretty patient when it comes to getting it. Why is justice reversed? Five of Pentacles reversed, the hangman reverse. Five of Pentacles reverse. This is about coming back in out of the cold, some sort of recovery. The hangman reverse so this is why it's unfair someone doesn't want to completely let go or sacrifice something in their life and that's why there's not an even exchange here why, why things are not in balance tell me about justice reverse please one more spirit i mean they could want to reconcile bridge the gap um come in out of the cold but they still don't want to give something up. And this could be anything. The wheel, I'm telling you, something with timing here. <laughs> timing is a big factor. Maybe you met and it wasn't the right time and that feels unfair. Perhaps you're waiting for an opportunity for the timing to be right. Divine timing could be at play here. Things just didn't work out because they weren't meant to work out at that time. And now there's a possibility here for a change, for something um, to to move this forward because the wheel is all about change momentum forward fate and fortune on your side the wheel turning to move things forward so there's something that's going to either take place in this connection or has already started to take place in this connection in terms of like momentum and it could be because someone's manifesting it could be because someone wants to leave a situation what is this seven of pentacles here with this six of source reverse? What's this about? Nine of wands. I feel like someone, yeah, look at this six of uh, cups reverse. This is almost like someone has not what's this before I eight of swords. High priestess this is some something where someone has been stuck in the past has not completely given up on the idea of something in the past working out nine of wands they tend to be very closed off um, a little paranoid and defensive they're very guarded because they've been through a lot but they're not willing to give up like they're still sticking sticking around and and and, and still giving it a try i guess um the nine of wands and I have the Six of Cups reversed, so I feel like this is someone that's still not giving up on the past. And then I have here, these two wanted to kind of come out. I'm not going to take them, but I am going to show you the Eight of Swords and the High Priestess. So this is fear of something that you don't know. So it's almost like someone's uh, in their head about something and not talking about it, or someone um, is fearful 
um, or overthinking because they don't know something. Either they don't know how this person's feeling, they don't know where this is going, something like that. There's something that hasn't been expressed or communicated. Maybe there's no communication. And so someone's really wondering if this is going to work out. Can I get one more for the Seven of Pentacles? Why is the Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Swords? To Tower Reverse. So that's probably why there's a delay and a departure. Yeah. Four of Swords. Someone's only thinking. They're not really moving here. No no real action taking place. Perhaps there's no communication from this person. Whoever needs to leave a situation. They're delayed because they don't want to cause a tower. Or perhaps they're afraid of a tower. Um, I feel like they're reflecting on how this tower could be dealt with. So how do you feel about each other? I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a digital deck that you can print at home. It's available in my shop, link down below. Um, it's very affordable because you can print it yourself. You can print as many uh, times as needed. So like mine, you know, if it starts to like not look very cute after a while, you could get it printed again. I got mine printed at Staples and I am thinking about making this into an actual physical deck that you can purchase in my shop. But that won't be for, for a little while. So check it out if you're interested. So let's see. How do you feel about each other? Tell me about Scorpio's energies at this time. How is Scorpio thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection with this person? Deep regret. Remorse, guilt, responsibility. There's regret over the past. All right, Scorpio. So you're having some sort of regret over the past. And then I have reach out at the bottom contact touch communication reach out with a gentle touch or a sweet message so i feel like someone you in this instance it's like you want to talk about the past you want to communicate you want to hear from this person tell me about scorpio's person what are they thinking or feeling what is scorpio thinking or feeling Time out. Timing, patience, waiting. Time is of the essence. I'm not going to repeat myself, but what have I already been saying? <laughs> Something about this reading is focused around this. It's like this person's waiting for the right time, has been patiently waiting for something. Um, bottom of the deck, I have cold shoulder, silence, blockage, struggle. Someone's feeling shut out or left out of this connection. This is someone that's been put out in the cold. Um, I feel also like there may, for a lot of you, you have not been communicating with this person. Um, and I feel like that hasn't really kept you from thinking of each other. The fact that you haven't heard about each other hasn't really changed how you feel about each other. So let's see. What other insight can you get and see how you are thinking or feeling about each other? Tell me more. Tell me about Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. And please remember, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate 100% with everyone. If it is resonating with you, though, let me know down in the comments how it's resonating. I love hearing from you guys. I can't respond to every comment, but I do read them all. How is Scorpio thinking or feeling about this connection at this time? Yeah, six of coin reverse. This is not balanced or fair to you. You're possibly wondering if this person feels the same way about you, even after all this time. Yeah, seven of coin again. Knight of wands. There's still that attraction, that chemistry, that that impulse to want to move towards this person. Like a, like a tie to each other. That's how I'm seeing it. Perhaps this is your soulmate. And even though there was some sort of separation in the past, because I feel like there has been some sort of separation that is probably still ongoing here. I feel like you still are interested in each other. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Six of Cups, yeah. This is about a past person here that 
a soulmate connection, a strong connection, a sweet connection. Have the four of coin reverse, letting go of something, holding on tightly to something. Tell me more about Scorpio's person. King of Wands. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're mirroring each other in a way. Now, why is this Four of Coin reverse? Why is this Four of Coin? Ten of Wands. So this is about letting go. Of a, it's like there's been like a burden, something that your person has been carrying with them all this time. The fool at the bottom of the deck. I feel like letting go of this burden would open up this person um, or open up at, at least a door for this person to have a new beginning. But as it stands right now, I don't I don't see them um, being able to do that because they're trying to avoid a tower. I have the emperor and the queen of coin. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Okay, so let's see. How is this person secretly thinking or feeling about you? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is my first physical deck. It'll be available on Etsy, which is linked down below my Etsy shop. Uh, sometime in late November, so check that out. How is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Scorpio? You are always on my mind. I think that goes both ways. I feel like you both think about each other. What else? How is this person thinking or feeling about Scorpio? It's all my fault. So they're thinking whatever happened between you is is their fault and they're feeling trapped um that could be that eight of swords trapped in fear you know whatever and then how i can't let you go at the bottom of the deck so yes this is kind of the energy i've been picking up here so let's like, let's get the 411 what do we need to know about this connection between you and this person Bottom of the deck, I have hidden feelings in my secret, um, not secret seller energy deck. So I really feel like there's some sort of suppression here. Like you you haven't really been honest with how you feel about each other. And I have here, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond defense. I don't think that's happened because of this separation that has taken place here. What's the 411 spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection? What's the 411 for Scorpio, November 2020? What do we need to know? Four of Wands, reverse. The Wheel of Fortune has shown up twice. I feel like there's some sort of change that's gonna take place in this connection. And then I have the Five of Cups, reverse. This is about recovering what's been lost not being completely over the past, still thinking or being affected by what happened in the past. Now this pair of wands reverse, typically this is just lack of stability, lack of harmony in the home, issues in the home. Um, you know, there's maybe fighting or family situation. Let's see, why is the four of wands reverse? Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's something that's not really working out in someone's home life. Nine of Wands. I feel like it has really beaten them up, whatever this is. But they're not giving up. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Two of Swords. They're not making that choice. They're undecided. Maybe there's two, pe two people, two paths to choose here and someone cannot make that choice. The Two of Swords is also closed off. You know, see this card, which I love the, the artwork of the Tarot of the Divine deck. 
This could be somebody that is closed off, they're guarded, they're holding back in some way. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio. Wow, Ace of Coin, are you kidding? This is a huge opportunity. Page of Coin, it's like maybe it might start off as a small exchange and then it gets to something more like, yeah, you know, it's like a, like a, like a text or a message that's like, hey, how are you doing? And then it leads to like this Ace of Coin. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. You get one more, please. I feel like this is what someone's manifesting. Eight of Wands, yeah, this is some sort of communication or some sort of movement forward. And then I have Justice at the bottom of the deck, upright. So it's almost like this is going to rebalance the situation. Why is the Five of Cups reversed? King of Wands reverse. Someone's really regretting their their actions. I, I think that they're beating themselves up about how they behaved or how they handled the situation. Ten of Wands reverse. This is letting go of a burden. This is what needs to happen in order to recover the past, but someone's still holding on. Yeah. Seven of Coin reverse at the bottom. Yeah, someone's still like this Four of Coin. This is someone that's still holding on to some sort of burden that should be dropped. And, you know, I feel like they, they, they want to have some sort of a recovery here, but they feel trapped, you know, they might want to communicate, but they feel like, you know, either their mind is playing games with them or playing tricks on them, or they really are thinking that this is not something that could really grow or happen because there's a burden here. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands reverse. What is this Ten of Wands reverse about? Justice. This is Ten of Wands reverse. For a small number of you, this could be a legal situation. Queen of Cups. I feel like this could be something to do with like Let me see. Can, can I get one more for the Ten of Wands reverse? Eight of Coin. Yeah, I feel like this is something where... And I have the Magician at the bottom of the deck, by the way. So I feel like someone's manifesting some sort of effort and rebalancing to take place. However, I feel like this is a very emotional uh, burden, an emotional trap. This is like someone letting their emotions get in their own way. I feel like they really do care about you with the Queen of Cups. They might even see you as someone very compassionate. Um, and they might even be willing to put in the work and the effort here to, to rebalance the situation. But that doesn't mean that this is going to go away on its own. I feel this is some emotional tie, this Ten of Wands reverse. And I think this is a, an emotional tie outside of you, Scorpio. Let me know if that's resonating for you guys. So let's look at the potential outcome here. What's the potential outcome in the near future? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some cards for this video, and then we're gonna take it to the extended where I'll clarify the potential outcome further for you. We're gonna look at their true intentions, what actions they're gonna take next, and then we'll wrap it up with some advice from Spirit. Maybe even get some information on timing. So if this is resonating for you and you'd like to check out the extended, completely optional, the link is in the description box below this video. All right, so let's get into this, Scorpio. What is the potential outcome between Scorpio and this person, Spirit? What is the potential outcome in the near future for Scorpio and this other person? Six of Pentacles, Reverse, Empress, and the Fool. Okay. Bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Wands, Reverse. So I still see this kind of, 
You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking the, the wheel is necessary. And that's why it's come out twice in this reading. The wheel is necessary to turn this around because right now this is what how it's looking like. I feel like there's potential for someone to to have a new beginning, to but it's going to take a risk, a leap of faith. Uh, the Empress, this could be manifesting, love, it could be growth, expansion, or it could be a person in the way here. Uh, Scorpio, this could be you, how someone sees you, or this could be how you see someone else. Um, but what I'm seeing here in, in the near future is like this Empress is going to have some sort of um, influence on, on what happens, whether this is you, Scorpio, or this is another person. There's some sort of imbalance. You know, if you're in a communication with this person, if you are interacting with this person in some way, uh, it's like breadcrumbs. It's not enough. It's not even, you know, uh, you're not on the same page exactly. And I don't really see this changing unless someone takes a risk for something new, unless that wheel takes place, you know, and the wheel, you know, um, when it, when it arrives, <laughs> it changes everything. It is a massive shift. And, um, you know, I just want to say also that this is something that I feel like some people don't really understand, you know, just because I have a major arcana here, like the wheel or the empress or the lovers, right? Doesn't mean that that is a hundred percent going to happen because spirit does not force our hand to make any sort of decision. You know, all they do is they put us in front of a door. It's up to us to walk through that door to even open it. <laughs> Some of us just stand in front of it forever, you know, and that's the wheel in front of us, right? Like that's, if you just walk through that door, you will change your life forever. Um, so I, I, I want to be clear that's, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, you know, the wheel that's meant to happen is, is going to happen. Yes, that's true to a point. We have to be in charge of our destiny and make those decisions that, you know, change our lives. You know, it's not like spirit kind of like pushes you through the door. You know, <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't think people understand that sometimes. So this is, this is the fool that I love that the fool is here because the fool is all about taking a leap of faith, a risk, a, a journey into the unknown. The fool doesn't know where his path will lead, but he trusts and have, and has faith on pursuing that path and trusting that it'll lead him something great. And that begins a fool's journey, right? It's not meant to be an easy path or anything like that, but you know, it takes guts to even start the journey. So I feel like this is some sort of message to you, Scorpio, that, you know, there's a high probability here that someone will be taking that risk and that could lead to growth. That could lead to a rebalancing, right? We'll see in the extended. Um, but I, I, I feel like this is a good a good spread to have in the potential outcome because I, I have two major arcanas that are great for the new creating something new it's just to have you know these two over here that are kind of reminding me like it's not all roses with the six of pentacles reverse and six of wands reverse work is needed so leave me a comment let me know if this resonated for you if you'd like to support excuse me the channel for free please consider hitting the like button and subscribing uh, that really helps out the channel a lot. I appreciate everyone that has already done that if you're interested in, and I will see you all in another video. Take care.